What's up everybody, I'm Blevin Robinson with West Coast Cajun Cuisine. In today's video, smoked turkey gumbo. Welcome to the channel ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to cook authentic Cajun cuisine, comfort food, and just about anything for that matter, then you've come to the right place. Click that subscription button and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now today's video is a smoked turkey gumbo. Now this recipe typically uses the leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. Every Friday after Thanksgiving, the family and I get together with some friends. We go to a local Christmas tree farm and we cut down our Christmas tree. We haul it back home, we, we put the Christmas tree up, we start decorating the house, and then I start making turkey gumbo. Now this has actually become a tradition in my family that we've been doing for about almost 10 years. And it's become such a thing that we've gotten our friends involved, and by the end of the afternoon, there's like 30 people at my house, and we're all enjoying a nice big pot of turkey gumbo. Now I wanna bring this recipe to you guys. This is the same recipe that I use every year the Friday after Thanksgiving. You don't have to use turkey. You can use chicken, whatever you like. This uh, gumbo is really good if you smoke the protein that you're gonna put in here, whether that be chicken or turkey or whatever. Um, this is a smoked gumbo. It's delicious. You've gotta try it. You don't have to have it smoked, but if you can, smoke a chicken or a turkey first and then put it in this gumbo, it is unbelievable. So let's go ahead and get to the kitchen and I'll show you how to make it. All right, this is some of what we're gonna need here. Um, obviously the turkey, we're gonna put some collard greens in here. Do not skip this ingredient, ladies and gentlemen, you need those collard greens. We're gonna need some uh, flour and oil for our roux. We're gonna need the holy trinity of Cajun cooking and that's onion, bell pepper, celery. We're also gonna throw in some garlic and some smoked sausage. Plus, I'm cooking some rice on the side here, about three cups or so. It's not gumbo without rice. You gotta have that rice, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get to the kitchen. All right, I'm gonna start off by adding some oil to this eight quart stock pot. And I had the heat set to about a medium to medium low. I'm gonna let that sit for about a minute and warm up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my flour. Now once I get the flour in there, it's very important to stir nonstop consistently and have your heat to that medium medium low section because if you burn this roux it will make your gumbo very bitter and disgusting now after about 15 minutes this is what i have i have this like kind of milk chocolate colored roux but i want to go another five minutes and get this a little darker about right there all right now i'm going to go ahead and add my vegetables now once I get my vegetables in there, I'm gonna give this a good mix and cook it down for about three to five minutes just until the onions start to turn translucent. Now I'm gonna add my garlic. Now once my garlic is in there, same thing, we're just gonna make sure that this is mixed and uh, well incorporated. And then as you're cooking this, about a minute, minute and a half later, you're gonna to start to smell that garlic. And once that happens, go ahead and season your roux. Uh, don't forget, recipe will be in the description below. And once you get the seasoning in there, you just want to make sure it's mixed in pretty well. And then you're going to add that 12 ounce uh, beer. Now, once you get that in there, make sure it's well mixed. It's going to make this uh, slurry. And then let that simmer for about five minutes or so, long enough to get the alcohol cooked out. Now we're going to add that turkey stock. And this is the stock that I made a couple of videos ago, which I'll leave a card up top for you guys to check out if you're interested. Now I'm going to start adding my collard greens. Now this may look like a lot but these collard greens are going to cook down. And we're going to go ahead and bring this up to a boil and then once it starts to boil we're going to drop it down to a simmer and simmer it for about 30 minutes. All right now I'm going to start adding my turkey and I add whole pieces here uh, bone skin and all and we're going to simmer this down for about an hour and a half and after that we're going to go ahead and add our sausage and once we get the sausage in there we're going to go ahead and give it a good stir a good mix and simmer this for another an hour now after that we're going to go ahead and pull out all the turkey meat and we're going to debone it de-skin it and get rid of that to where we're just left with the meat and once we do that we'll go ahead and just you know shred it up just a little bit make sure the chunks aren't too big we want them at least in bite-sized pieces and then i'll go ahead and put this back into the gumbo let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then uh, plate up and eat 
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, smoked turkey gumbo. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'd really appreciate that. Now, next week, I'm going to show you a turkey jambalaya. It's a new recipe. It is to die for. I love this jambalaya recipe to the point that I haven't made jambalaya any other way since I figured this recipe out. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscription button and that notification bell. And while you're here, go ahead and check out another video on the channel, and I'll see you then.